welcome everyone to the first video of a two-part series uh, the main topic of which is my laptop uh, so basically the idea behind doing this is the fact that I've had this laptop for now over five years and it hasn't been cleaned or reinstalled in all that time so it's definitely in a dire need for some upgrades what I'm going to do uh, in this video is uh, disassemble it and clean it all out, re uh, replace the thermal compound and in the next video I'm going to install an SSD and reinstall the windows so hopefully by the end of all of that we'll be able to see some really nice improvement I need to establish the base performance of the laptop in its current state and for this I'm going to use ADA64 and run a 5 minute stability test and after that we'll be able to compare this uh, to the test that I'm going to run after doing all of the upgrades on the laptop and let's see how it does I'm going to start off by showing you all of the tools and parts that are necessary for this job and after that we'll start disassembling. Before disassembling the laptop I think it's a really good idea to have the data uh, backed up on an external hard drive for example uh, just in case anything bad happens or you mess up anything and the other suggestion that I have is it's gonna be a lot easier if you know which screw goes where and for this reason I have taped together a couple of sheets of paper that I'll use as a map and tape down every screw as I take it out from the laptop. And this is what the inside of the laptop looks like after 5 years of gathering dust. What have I done? I don't know. I think the next step is removing the motherboard and cleaning all of that dust. The next step is one of the most nerve-wracking ones. I am going to remove the heat pipes, clean off the CPU, clean off the GPU, use some thermal compound and reseed them after that. 
Okay, here we go. I took some time off camera to clean the keyboard by removing the keycaps and wiping them as well as cleaning underneath before fitting them back on. The next step is assembly of the laptop and hopefully it will be working again. Okay, now we've got the laptop back together and it's the moment of truth we'll boot up. Yes! I call that success. I'm really happy that I managed to disassemble and clean the laptop without breaking it. That's pretty much everything that we're going to do in this video, but uh, be sure to check the next one where I'll be installing the SSD and reinstalling the window, so hopefully I'll get some more performance out of that. But for now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Don't you move! And blood, 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 bl